Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be updating you on my project Use It Up for quarter two. So I pick out a few skincare, body care, hair care type items to work on throughout the quarter um, and hopefully try to finish things up. That's kind of the whole goal is to use up what I have. And I really like doing these seasonal type time frame of projects because I feel like it helps me recognize what I have maybe in my closet or drawers that are geared towards different times of the year. Um, so right now I'm kind of focusing in on the spring summer type items. So I do have a list on my phone of everything with a few notes on some of the items that I have completed so far. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and dive in. I have met my goal on four items and let's just start there. So we'll start with the first thing I finished off, which is a moisturizer. This is the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. I really liked this moisturizer. I have oily skin, so a lightweight moisturizer is key for me um, in the spring and summertime especially. I used this at night. Really, really enjoyed it, and I did finish this up pretty quick. There wasn't a ton left in here. Let's see. I wrote down that I finished it on April 19th, so pretty quick right out of the gates, but it was nice to move this out and start working on the next moisturizer, you know, kind of on deck. Okay, the next item I finished up kind of as the um, time went on is my body lotion. So this is from Alba Botanica. It's the Very Emollient Body Lotion. And when we um, put this into the project, it was at this line here. I previously had it in other projects um, for the last quarter, first quarter. But this is where we started. So I did use as much as I could from the pump. And then once the pump stopped bringing product out, I did set this upside down, let it sit for a day or two. And then I put it into one of my travel size silicone bottles that I um, find is easier to use because you can just squeeze and you can manipulate it. So once the pump stopped working, I did decant it into there and then finished it up, which is a big feat. This is a great body lotion. It's just a little bit thick for me for this time of year. I like something a little bit more lightweight, but I definitely will go back to this in the winter. And one of these will last me like a whole winter season, which is awesome to only have to buy one, you know, body moisturizer. But I am happy that I finished this off so I can move into those lighter weight moisturizers. I don't think I said it, but I finished that lotion up on May 3rd. I also finished up a shower bar on May 3rd. So I used these Lush Naked Shower Gels. I cut them up. These are discontinued, so you can't purchase them, but I cut them up into bars. And at this project, I put in two. I had this purple one that I'm still working on, and I also had a pink one that I was working on. Um, so I did finish up that pink one on the same day that I finished up my lotion, which is kind of fun to have like a double whammy day. But um, I did finish that up, so I have moved on to that purple bar next, which is kind of like a little update there. But I did finish the purple one, I'm sorry, the pink one, had no problems. I really enjoy the product. Like I said, it is discontinued, so I'm just trying to work through um, the product that I still have. And being that it's not packaged, um, I have them in a Tupperware container in my closet, but I'm just trying to focus on them and use them up before they dry out and lose their moisturizing properties. Okay, so the last item that I finished up, I finished up recently, I finished up on May 11th is what I wrote down. And this is my the other moisturizer I was using. So this is the one I used after I finished up the Glow Recipe one earlier on. This is the Clean and Clear Watermelon Gel Moisturizer. Um, this is a great moisturizer for oily skin. I purchased this one last March or April, like early pandemic days. And I just finished it up, which is great. I wasn't using it consistently. You know, I would use it for a while, put it away for the winter, pulled it back out. So I am um, finished with this one. And I do actually have a second one that I'm now working on. Um, like I said, I really like this. This is very affordable. I liked the Glow Recipe one, but I wouldn't pay full price for it. So I do have another one of these going. It's not officially in my project to use it up, but it is something that um, I like so much that I did purchase it again. But I am happy that this one is done because it was over a year old. Um, you know, it's just good to move older products out. So that is the last one that I finished so far. Let's talk about the other items and what I'm still working on. So from my list here, we already talked about the purple bar. So this is the one that I have in my shower right now. I'm very confident I will have this finished up before the end of the second quarter um, for my finale video. Usually these are not a problem for me to get through. Um, another shower product I have is the KNS Soapworks Mango Papaya Scrub. So I love these KNS Soapworks scrubs. You can get them off of Etsy. I'll have it linked down below. Um, I am a little bit, I don't know, less 
further along than I have been in other quarters. I have no worries that this won't be, you know, completed. I know I can finish this off. I love the scent. It's so bright and fruity. Um, that's been really fun. But I did travel for two weekends during um, the first half of this quarter. I went to Arizona and New Orleans. And I did not bring some of these products with. So this is something I uh, kept at home. I didn't bring it with me. So I missed out on a few uses. But again, it should be easy to use. This is a scrub and a body wash in one. Um, it's not a super harsh scrub, and it does suds up. So I like to use it kind of as a combo. It's like a, a polishing body wash, you could say. But yeah, this is one that I'm not quite halfway through, but I still think that I will be able to finish up. And if I don't, that's okay because the scent is going to be beautiful going into third quarter into summer as well. So no worries there. And then another shower type product I have is this shampoo. This is the Avalon Organics Clarifying Lemon Shampoo. My goal is to use this 12 times, which is about once a week. Um, again, I did travel twice. I did not bring this with me. I didn't pack any. So according to my tracker here, I have used this four times so far. So I do need to kind of kick it up. Um, I do have markings on the back here. It's in black on the stark packaging. So you might not be able to tell on camera, but I can see. Again, it's not about finishing it up. I just want to get in the habit of using it once a week. Now that it's warmer, I'm going out for walks on the trail every other day or so. I'm out on the boat sweating um, and I have sunscreen all over. Soon, once the lake is warmer, I'll be swimming in the lake. So I just like to get in the habit of using a clarifying shampoo once a week because of all the different things that are going to be in contact with my hair. I want to make sure I can get like a nice deep clean for my scalp and my hair. So this is one that I do need to focus on a little bit more, um, but I'm not really worried. If I don't hit the 12 uses, that's fine. It's more of just building this habit. I'm sure I'll probably roll this over into the third quarter um, as well, just because again, it's this habit building thing that I'm trying to do. So not done, didn't reach my um, halfway goal, but I'm not gonna let that tear me down. I'm still gonna use it. Okay. Let's talk about some skincare now. So one of my skincare goals is to mask, same kind of thing, once a week. So that would be about 12 masking sessions. Um, I have exceeded my halfway goal. So I have masked a total of eight times so far. Um, and I actually have been switching into really liking a morning mask on the weekends, putting a face mask on, kind of laying in bed, scrolling through Instagram um, or watching a movie or something, and then, you know, rinsing it off. So I did finish up a face mask though. This is the Milk Makeup Watermelon Brightening Face Mask. It's in a stick form. I did finish this up um, to the best of my ability. There's a little bit there, but it's so crumbly, it's almost impossible to apply. I really like this one, but I was happy to move it out because I do have other masks that I need to work through and want to get more use out of, and this one was starting to dry out. Being that it is in a stick formula, um, it's you can't really revive it like you could a mask in a jar. So happy that this is done. It only took me one more use, so I did use this one time, and then I've moved on to other ones. I just wanted to highlight two of the masks that I've been using a little bit more consistently. I do have a couple others on my shelf, but these are the two that I'm using most frequently. So the first one is from Herbivore. It is the Blue Tansy Resurfacing Clarity Mask. This is a pretty liquidy gel mask. Hopefully you're seeing that, you know, move around in there. It's this really beautiful teal color. I really enjoy this mask. This is my second one that I've had. Um, and a little bit goes a long way. Because it's so thin, I dip my brush in and I'm able to paint my face. And it really doesn't take a lot of product, which is one of the reasons why I like it. And even though this is a higher end brand, I feel like the product lasts a really long time because it's so, so thin. Um, but yeah, so I've been using this one quite a bit. It definitely helps kind of resurface the top layer of my skin. Um, and also helps with, you know, kind of any congestion, things like that. So that's really nice um, to have. The other one that I've been using quite a bit is this little mini one from Bliss. So around Christmas time, Target had a little Bliss set. That was an awesome deal. You got three little sample size face masks, two um, serums, and three like travel size body butters for like 20 bucks. It was an awesome deal. And if they do that again, I'm totally buying it. So this was one of the sample masks in there. And I do still have the other two that I've used here and there, but this is the one I'm using the most. This is the Bliss What a Melon Reviving and De-Stressing Overnight Mask. Now I don't really use overnight masks 
overnight. I usually just use them kind of as like a hydration mask. And there's not that much left in here. Hopefully you can see it's kind of like a bright pink color. So it might be hard to see there. But I've been using this quite a bit. I really have been liking it just to pack a little bit more moisture. I've really been liking this one when I take a bath as well because um, it just feels good on the skin, very enriching. So yeah, this is one that I think I probably will finish up just because I'm using it so consistently. And I've really enjoyed having some sort of a moisturizing mask available. I usually don't have one, but this one has made me realize maybe I do wanna have one. So I don't know if I would get this in a full size or try something different, but I do appreciate having this in. So this is one that, like I said, I probably will finish up by the finale, but I just wanted to mention these two because these are the ones that I'm using most frequently right now. Okay, so like I said, I used, um, I have masked a total of eight times, my goal is 12. I probably will surpass that and I'm so okay with it. <laughs> Uh, okay, a couple of items left. I have another skincare item here. This is a serum. This is from Derma E. It is the Overnight Peels, and it's a AHA serum. So I use this. I, I've talked about this before, but my nighttime skincare routine is on a rotation. So what I mean by that is I use one type of serum a night. I don't ever, like, put two serums together and like layer that way. I just pick one serum for the night and I rotate through. So I have three different serums. I have my AHA, I have a retinol, and then I have like a hydrating type serum that I rotate through. So I use this about twice a week, um, every third day basically of my nighttime skincare routine. So with that being said, when we put this in the project, it's out was at this top line and now it's here. So I would say I've used, you know, about half of what I had left. So that means that I should be able to finish this up before, you know, our finale, which is fine by me. I do have other kind of like AJ exfoliating type serums in my stash ready to kind of replace this when this is done. Um, I've used this Dharma E product for years though, so I know I love it. Um, and I just have different ones that I want to try from different brands, you know, but this is really nice. It's not... Um, kind of a stressful product for me to use up. I probably would naturally use it up this quarter anyway, but it is nice to have it in the project just as that added little like oomph, you know? Okay, and we have two items left. So I don't know what category this is. This is the Lush Ultra Balm. This is a sample and it's just kind of like a multi-purpose balm. I've been using this on my cuticles and on my heels, kind of like anywhere where I have dryness. Or excessive dryness. Um, so I just have product around the kind of rim here of the packaging. Um, so I think what I might do is kind of try to scrape it and put it all into one spot to make it a little bit easier to get. But I do think that this should be done by the next update just because there's really not that much in here. When I do swirl my finger in here to get product, I can definitely tell that there's not a lot left and I'm touching mostly the metal siding. So I do think this will be done. It's more just like a consistency thing. I'll be really good about using it for like five, six days and then I kind of fall off the bandwagon for like two, three days and then I get back on. So I just have to be a little bit more consistent with it, but it is something that I think I can move out of my collection by our finale of quarter two. And then the last item, I actually thought I would have had done by today, but I don't, so that's fine. And it's a perfume. So this is a rollerball of the Hanae Marie um, butterfly perfume, which is now discontinued. But this is where I'm at. Obviously, it's pretty um, yellow there, so you should be able to see it in the glass bottle. This has become my like everyday perfume pretty much for like work days. On the weekends, I like to switch it up a little bit more. But for each work day, I just kind of dab a little bit of this on as I get ready for my day in the morning. It kind of helps, makes me feel like put together. So it is a nice um, kind of florally very light floral sweet scent. I like it. Um, I used to have a full size of this, and I, like a three ounce size that I went through before. So I knew I liked the fragrance. But like I said, it's just kind of like almost to the end. I might as well just finish it up. So I have enjoyed using it every day and I probably will have it done in another week or so. And that'll be that. So that is my update for my quarter two project use it up. I would love to know if you are trying to finish anything up in your beauty 
collection at home these days. Um, I certainly enjoy these videos. Um, I like watching them and I like making them. I like making them because it's a reminder of, oh yeah, I gotta use that thing. <laughs> and it's nice, like I said at the beginning, to kind of pick things out seasonally. So I'd love to hear from you if you're doing a similar series that I can check out and cheer you on. Um, or if you just wanna comment something that you're um, you know, using or trying to finish up, that's great too. So thank you guys for taking some time out of your day to hang out. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.